Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Galaxy. Today we will be going over the My Paint brush tool. This tool is often overlooked, but comes with some great preset options for creative brushes. First, I will select the My Paint brush tool. To start, we can click this large square here next to brush. This will bring up new options that we can select. I recommend experimenting with the many different brush options this tool offers, as there are some really interesting and unique brush types. After selecting your desired brush, simply click and drag on your canvas. You can change the color of the brush by changing the foreground color in your toolbox. Now let's look at some extra options. The opacity slider at the top determines how much color the brush will create. Closer to zero, and the color will be very light. Closer to 100, and the color will be darker. If we were to choose an eraser, setting the opacity lower means less will be erased with each brush stroke. Then if we were to set it to 100, ticking the box next to smooth stroke can help if you don't have a steady hand. It will reduce the appearance of shaky lines. Adjusting the quality slider bar, you can increase or decrease the amount of smoothing this tool produces as you stroke. Weight can be described as how fast your pen will follow your mouse. At a low amount, the pen moves instantly as I stroke. With this set higher, see how the pen lags behind my mouse, almost as if you are trying to drag a weight behind your brush. Look at the difference in a shaky brush stroke using the two extremes of this option. Notice how my mouse pointer moves and how the stroke follows. A high weight can help reduce shakiness you may have in your strokes. Erase with this brush simply turns this tool into an eraser. And vice versa if you select an eraser brush and deselect this option. The option No Erasing Effect can be a little confusing. It is not to be used in tandem with a race with this brush. Instead, it prevents some of the smudging tools from creating transparency when you are blending and moving pixels. First, I will select a blending tool. With no erasing effect toggled off, as I blend into these brush strokes, it pulls color from the original point and creates an almost separation effect, as if you are physically dragging the pixels to a new location. We can now see some of the background peeking through as I blend. With no erasing effect toggled on, pixels cannot be erased, and the original brush strokes maintain their opacity as I blend. See how there is no white created, like there was here, where you can see the background. Here, we can only see the red color as I continue to blend. Moving further down, we have options for radius, base opacity, and hardness. Radius simply controls the size of your brush. Base opacity is most helpful when used to boost the opacity of some of the softer brushes. 
For example, if I select this airbrush, we can see it sets the base opacity to 0.52, but our overall opacity is still 100%. If we continually increase the opacity of this brush using the base opacity, the brush will lay down more color. Finally, hardness simply controls the softness of your brush. For this airbrush, the hardness is turned down to 0.48. If I turn it up to 1, there's just completely hard edges, no more soft like this original one. And that's it. You've now mastered the My Paint brush tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.